Seeds are called superfoods for a reason. Tiny in size, yet packed with omega-3s, antioxidants, and minerals. But here's what most people don't know. For some individuals, these same seeds can silently trigger inflammation, digestive distress, or even worsen existing health conditions. Welcome back to the Mind Hunters. Before you load your smoothie bowl with seeds, let's find out who should actually avoid them and why. First up, people with digestive issues and gut sensitivity. Seeds are extremely high in insoluble fiber. For people with irritable bowel syndrome, chronic bloating, or sensitive digestion, this can cause gas, discomfort, or cramps, worsening of diarrhea or constipation. Precaution. Start with 1-2 teaspoon a day, soak the seeds overnight, and always drink plenty of water. If symptoms worsen, stop immediately and consult a gastroenterologist. Next up, people on blood thinning medication. Flaxseed and chia are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which naturally thin the blood. If you're already on blood thinners, this can increase your bleeding risk, even from small cuts or dental procedures. Precaution: Avoid consuming large amounts of flax, chia, or hemp seeds. Always inform your doctor before combining seeds with anticoagulant or antiplatelet drugs. Next up, people with kidney stones or gout. Many seeds, especially sesame, sunflower, and flax, contain oxalates and purines, which can contribute to stone formation in susceptible individuals. Precaution: Limit high oxalate seeds. Stay hydrated and balance seed intake with calcium-rich foods like yogurt to neutralize oxalates. Next up, people with hormone-sensitive conditions. Seeds like flax and sesame are rich in lignans, which affect estrogen metabolism. For most people, this is beneficial, but in estrogen-sensitive conditions such as fibroids or certain breast cancers, high intake may not be ideal. Precaution: Stick to one tablespoon or less daily, and avoid concentrated seed powders or extracts without medical guidance. Next up, pregnant or breastfeeding women. Some seeds like fenugreek and flaxseed have mild phytoestrogen properties. They mimic estrogen in the body. While small amounts are usually safe, high doses may influence hormonal balance or uterine contractions. Precaution: Avoid consuming raw flax or fenugreek in large quantities during pregnancy. Next up, people with seed allergies or cross-reactive allergies. Seed allergies, though rare, are real. Sesame allergy, for example, is now recognized among the top 10 allergens globally. Symptoms can range from mild itching to severe anaphylaxis. Always read ingredient labels. Seeds hide in sauces, dressings, and baked goods. If you notice any allergic reactions, stop immediately and seek medical help. And last, people trying to lose weight should limit seed intake. Overeating can slow weight loss despite being healthy. So the key takeaway is, it's about balance, not fear. Seeds aren't the enemy, they're potent tools. But like medicine, the dose and the person matter, use them wisely. Always soak or lightly roast to reduce anti-nutrients. Rotate your seed types weekly. Listen to your body if bloating or discomfort begins. Pause and reassess. Because in nutrition, one size never fits all. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe for more science-backed seed tips. Thanks for watching.